back. I could go ahead and just take Awari and Mino. But then I'd be opening up myself. Well, not really. I've got two fronts right now. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. Well, or this place might revolt against me if I try that. Decisions, decisions. You are the only thing keeping this town in check. In fact, I can start taxing that town again. Hooray! So soon I'll be able to take him out of... Once I can take my Metsuke out of these towns, then I can do that. You actually can probably go... Oh, good. Maybe I will take Oari. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait till things calm down. Save my money for a turn so I can have a nice big chunk next turn. Don't think there's going to be any serious threats to me anytime soon. Yashima Tyra getting really worked over. Doesn't actually even look like the Tyra are all that powerful right now. I'm not even the most powerful clan, huh? Sabotage their farm. Don't fail. He failed. Oh well. Very low chance of success. I'm going to actually send her back to my territory. Things are pretty good. So at this point, like, I'm nowhere near being Shogun. But my clan... Okay, never mind. So I'm nowhere near Shogun yet, but at this point my clan is pretty darn strong. I've got quite a lot of territory 
for any one man in Japan to really control at this point in history. And hopefully I'm going to be able to expand that even further to the west. So that that Taira army looks pretty darn strong to me. <sighs> Again, it's all Nike not a levy though. I want to face a real meaty challenge. Oh well. Upgrade my iron mine, upgrade my roads. That should do it for infrastructure for this turn. You can go back in there, you can convert Mino over to the Minamoto. Can I take you out of Tatomi yet? No, not quite yet. Yeah, and then I think I can go ahead and pass turn again. And I guess I could be building my army, but I still want to keep upgrading my income before I really focus on having a really powerful world conquering sort of army. Having an, a big army like that kind of forces you to expand because its upkeep is just so ridiculous. Lots of things going on right now. Lots of movement. Honestly, the Taira are kind of disappointing me. I was hoping for them to be a much, much more sturdy opponent. But it's turning out to be pretty weak, pretty pretty easily defeated, I think. Alright, so Musashi, can I upgrade your port? It's about to become a trading port. Are there any more grain exchanges that I should make? Mikawa should have a market because it's got the iron. And I should capitalize on that more so than go for food. I can also upgrade the rice patties. And I think, again, that's going to be all I can upgrade this turn. You can just sit there and keep making it more and more Minamoto. Ninja, you can go... Eh, no, try and sabotage it again. Just keep trying. There we go. That's almost a level for him. Oh, it is a level for him. Go entertain nobles. Leveled up. More critical success chance. And I haven't had a chance to really look at the Monomi tree. I'm probably going to want to get Notorious Killer. Sabotaging buildings. We're just sabotaging armies. That's here. Yeah, I'm going to go for... Notorious Killer. That's a, just a solid route to go down. And I get some sab sabotaging armies. Awesome. And... Where did my Shirabyoshi go? She's back in town. Awesome. Totomi still needs its Junsatsushi. And I'll save the money for more infrastructure next turn. Pass and turn a lot. Oh, whoa! Why would that have happened? That's actually going to throw a real monkey wrench in my plans. Huh. Why would they have bypassed those territories to attack me? Did they get peace and military access maybe from Nita? I'm not sure. That's very strange. They shouldn't have done that. I guess I'm going to have to try and get my cav stack that is in Sagami currently. 
and go face that big force. Try and use a garrison, perhaps, to defeat it. A lot of little clans getting strong and screwing with the Tyra, it looks like. Keeping them from really focusing on me, which is nice. But the Fujiwara, they just walked right past them. Rock walked right past the Nita to attack me. Aggressive ardor or staunch defense. Going for aggressive ardor. More melee attack is always, always useful. The melee defense is also useful, don't get me wrong, but I think I want to capitalize on what my men are already good at, which is the attack. Build a harbor there. Upgrade to a food stores in Totomi. Sagami, Cav stack. What are you made up of? Ooh, just a whole lot of really weak units and one strong unit. And they're going after a town that doesn't have a town watch yet. So I kind of, I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna go to Musashi, and then I'm going to attack that army. I think. It's going to be a really, really hard battle, though, for me to take that army apart little by little, especially because they have a general. Shimosa just doesn't have anything to withstand them with, though. This is why I should have been recruiting my army. Let's do that right now. I'll just build three-foot samurai right now. I'll let them take Shimosa, and then I'll deal with them my main with a new army my income is good enough I should just start spamming them out over here I'm being blockaded by the Tyra but oh well I'm not too upset about that I'm gonna jack up taxes for a turn Alright, they're coming after me. I'm not even gonna fight that. There's no there's no real chance there. So I'm just gonna allow my army to be crushed. Hopefully they will just sit there, because then I can get three units a turn, get like eight or nine foot samurai and my calf stack, and then I can easily take out that that foolishly launched army. take my territory back. Wow, the clans in the west are actually getting quite strong. I wonder what the name of that clan is right there. They're really, really taking over that chunk of the peninsula, and we've got all of the Shikoku and Awaji conquered by one clan. This is kind of a strange way that the game has developed so far. Oh, and Kozuke has been taken. That's bad. Alright, things might not be as sewn up in the east as I originally thought. Shubyoshi increases in rank. Cool. I do not enlist him. I do not need another one right this moment. <sighs> more foot samurai and lower taxes I 
If they go after Kazusa again, I can just take Shimosa and then Kazusa. I don't like that they're making it more Fujiwara, and I don't like that they burnt things, but that should be fixed pretty soon. I should be able to rectify their wrongdoings very quickly. This general is devoted. How nice. That's just so sweet. More sabotage. Failed. Oh well. Green Rain Kai, even more food. My predicted is 21. That is excellent. Can upgrade to a goods exchange in Kazusa. I've already recruited my three samurai. Can I recruit more than that though? Because I built the barracks. Nope. Three per turn. Three per turn is not bad. So you can upgrade that and Kazusa will become even more valuable. And I can pass turn. Should I upgrade Kazusa and build a Shinden there. Got Tyra army. That actually is kind of disconcerting on a boat. Why would they go? Why would they do that though when they're losing territories over here? Maybe just because they are programmed to hate me and go after me at this point in the game. Because historically we would be at war right now. I'm just postponing that to become even more powerful before that happens. I could probably plow right through, but then I'd lose some territories in the east, and I want to have a more, more clean campaign than that. I've lost Shimosa. Hopefully, I won't have to lose anything else. Shimosa, mm, nah, I'm, I'm going to take it back. Jun Satsushi increases in rank. Hooray! Questing legions, of course. Bribery. Harbor and Mikawa. Does that mean I can trade with more people? Because that would be cool. I'm allied to the, the Kitabatake are a vassal of mine now. So I can get trade with them. Which is good. I can sell them iron. Ishikawa. Are friendly. I can get trade with them as well. They're enemies of the Isinokame and the Kitabatake, though, so I cannot become really good friends with them. But for right now, that's fine. More income, hooray! More foot samurai, hooray! Alright, now that army, I'm going to wait till I have three more. Three more and that army is pretty invincible. I can take Shimosa bloodlessly, almost. And then I can maybe, I mean, no, my, va my ally and vassal, they'll do that. The Daisuke, though, I don't like them expanding so much and taking out my, my ally, the Nita. Nita, we're doing just fine, thank you. Before you started messing things up, Daisuke. Eighteen hundred more gold, what could I build? Musashi has the trade port. You could perhaps build Nope, not quite enough. So, I shall pass turn. Next turn I will move against Shimosa, and the turn after I will most likely be able to actually give you guys that battle. And again, they don't have a stronghold, so it should just be another instance of I overwhelm them. I might try and sue the Fukuhara Taira for peace, sue for peace with them. I'm not sure.
Mino got taken back. Owari now has a big stack in it, but I'm not scared of that. Daisuke, stop. Well, if they completely crush them, then I can make the Daisuke an ally, too, if I really need to. Another Jun Satsushi increases in rank. That's awesome. One of me detected. That's a little less awesome, but I don't really care. Defeat a Fujiwara army. Don't mind if I do. Sabotage successful. Pay off. Pay off failed. That's a bummer. But I don't think that he'll, he'll be able to take my guy out. Army sitting there. You can leave Totomi now and go out go convert Mikawa going to upgrade Kazusa to a stronghold so I can build a Shinden there I'm going to upgrade Izu to a stronghold so I can build a Shinden there I'm going to move my forces to Musashi and then from Musashi Actually, I should send the infantry first because they are the ones who are going to not be able to go as far. Alright, now I need to slow down on recruitment again. But that's fine. Doing a okay. I guess I should have upgraded her. Nobles. Yeah, might as well. And then both of those, and then I'll do both of them again next turn. She'll get good at distracting armies. And I shall pass turn. I guess I could try and pay off that town, but I don't need to yet. Yep. Come on. Neat, uh, I, you're my friend and I want you to survive. Income has gone down because of all of the men I've recruited and the fact that my trade is being raided by enemy ships. Piracy was a very common thing in the waters around Japan and really this whole area of East Asia. Piracy was very common simply because nobody really wanted to spend the money to deal with them and actually the Japanese you know feudal lords and whatnot had no problem with piracy in the sense that they liked being able to buy from pirates it was often very hard to trade directly with China and often the pirates were the ones who were able to get Chinese manufactured goods to Japan so it was very common for legitimate governments to trade with pirates and to allow them and that made the pirates more strong Shinsatsushi increases in rank. Enemy Monami detected. Ooh, he appears to be going after more of my territory. Can't quite request allegiance yet, but I will be able to soon. My Monomi, I'm just sabotaging away at this to farm experience. But he keeps failing, so he's not farming very much experience, unfortunately. That can be fixed. No biggie. They're taking attrition in my territory, so either they will attack me or they'll just keep doing that, taking attrition for no reason. You go attempt to take him out. Go up to him as quick as you can. Um, no, we're really crying for an upgrade yet. Let me go after that. Play siege with this army. Bring up reinforcements with the Cav. Now they actually have a few melee and armor buffs, but not much. And again, it's just a big old stack of Naginata Levy, and I am not afraid of that. Why are you not moving forward? There we go. This might even be a heroic victory. We shall see. Got nine foot samurai. I think I can do this. Total of around 700 against 2,800. Four to one. Let's do this.
Come on.